We have dealt with a number of issues in substance abuse and addiction through our various videos. Some of the areas we have been able to cover so far include the prevalence of substance abuse in our communities, why people abuse and become addicted to illicit substances, what to look out for and how to know when your child is hooked on illicit substance or substances, number four, drug deaths, and five, the harmful effects of substance abuse and addiction on the individual. Consequent upon the release of those videos, we received hundreds of thousands of responses from members of the public and more are still responding to the issues raised in those videos. A lot of people have testified that they found the information we made out on the drug menace in our communities pretty much useful. Truth of the matter is that a person of any age, sex and or economic status can be a victim of substance abuse and addiction. In this episode, we want to briefly look at some steps for drug abuse recovery, believing that members of the public would also find them useful. First and foremost, you must confront the problem headlong once you come to the realization that your child is abusing illicit drugs. At that point, you must avoid anger, neither blame your child nor yourself. This will place you in a position to think with a clear head and begin a conversation with your child on the next step to take to tackle the problem. People with addiction problems need to be shown love, care and concern. The second step you must take very urgently is to get help. The earlier help is sought, the earlier the child will commence the recovery process. Early help from a health professional like a psychiatrist, a professional drug counsellor or a clinical psychologist may save your child's life and all the consequences of severe mental problems like schizophrenia. Unfortunately, the continuous use of drugs might cause some damage to some nerve cells termed neurons in the child's brain. Neurons communicate via neurotransmitters. It follows that damage done to the brain of a child can remain long after the child has stopped the abuse of illicit drugs. Apart from psychiatric hospitals, which many addicts would not like to be admitted in, there are standard departments in major hospitals that handle substance abuse disorders. Substance abuse treatment can also be obtained from drug treatment and rehabilitation centers. Such centers can be found all across the country. It is important that your child understands that the reason you have taken him or her to drug treatment facility is because you sincerely love and want to help them. This is absolutely necessary because many people suffering from substance abuse disorders refuse to admit they have a problem and therefore do not need help. Whereas substance abuse treatment, whether by rehab, therapy, the talks or 12 steps can increase the possibilities of successful quitting the illicit drug habit, efforts must be made to avoid relapse after treatment. Needless to say, an important aspect of substance abuse disorders treatment is relapse prevention. What to do not to get involved in the habit again? To prevent relapse, the individual that has successfully undergone the drug abuse treatment process must minimize situations and circumstances that may lead to stress and conflict. This has to be done through conscious effort and emotional self-regulation. Such an individual must endeavor to distance themselves from persons and environment that can expose them to their former habits. Having said that, it's important to insist here that not getting involved with drugs at all will do us more good than the treatment process. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and say no to drugs and yes to life.